Oh, hey guys, welcome back. We're gonna do some fun with the PT Cruiser today. Now, we just did our last race, uh, I think it's been about two weeks now. I don't know, but everything seemed fine. It was pretty good, no overheating, no oil pressure issues. Pretty quiet, actually, no banging the exhaust stayed on it. <laughs> but after putting the standard tires back on it, uh, that wheel bearing is no longer happy with uh, being a wheel bearing and it is very vocal about it. So we're gonna start today by getting this guy changed out, but there's more we have, which is we let someone else drive the uh, car uh, over uh, the last race. We got to hear it out on track and uh, it is ridiculously quiet like almost a safety hazard quiet. So we got a new muffler and a little bit of tailpipe from some project Ryan had going on. And then a new exhaust tip. And we'll show that at the end when we're ready. So we'll put that on. We'll get some before and afters and all the fun stuff and to see what it sounds like with absolutely no muffler. But, but first, this guy's got to be done a while now. Shut up, I'm going! <laughs> really? I press them in. Look, they're like studs. Listen to our wonderful bearing. Now imagine that, but louder. If you notice, we knocked out a couple of our studs here. And I'm gonna do, let's take this nut and bolt, put it through here, and hopefully weasel it in just far enough where I can do this, tighten it against that, prepare for some loud noise, and in theory, drive this hub out. Yeah. Yep, then what we do, switch sides. I'm sure the race loves that. I really don't care. <laughs> I'm sure the hub loves it too, because we can't really do even pressure because we only have one nut and bolt. So what I'll do is switch sides, move it over here. Now I can get it past this nut that's on here. And run it in. No, honestly, I think I need to use the bigger impact. We need more power. Ow! Why my fingers? We're replacing it. Ta-da! A lot easier. That's actually not that part bad either. So first, we gotta get these out, which part of me wants to go wee and just hit those, but the other part of me that has lived in Michigan my entire life and has dealt with rusty shit boxes also my entire life tells me that's a bad idea because I guarantee we'll snap those things off. So let's go get the torch. We'll heat those up, then get them off. Like a butter. I can 
feel it near my fingers. This is a wheel bearing press kit. Uh, I got this off Amazon. I think it was like 130 bucks. But this makes this so much easier. Got all these different inserts to press in and out bearings. You could probably use it for a bunch of other stuff if you really got creative. It has these big cups for it. I think this is the one I used because it's all scratched up. So I'm gonna take a guess that that was the one we used. Shit, I just put that one down and I just had it right. But what you wanna do, so this is our new bearing. You wanna size this as close as you can to the outer race of your bearing. Without being too big. Yeah, without being too big, because this has also got to pass through the hub. And then you have to have something big enough to where it goes in. Which honestly, I think, might be this one. Let's give that a shot. And then we have our the nut that goes on the back. This will there. Actually, I think you need to use a washer. And then the screw. And this will do the pressing. Let's get this out on a trick. Let's get this out on the floor. Nice. All right, we're going to play a little fun game of put the puzzle together. So we got our backing plate, or whatever we want to call it. That will sit back there. And the front piece will sit over it like that. And here comes the fun part. You feed this through. Through the backing piece. Put the washer on. Put the big nut on there. The big nut. Maybe you should grease your nut. Grease your nut. Alright. Dad wrench. It's time to boogie. Yeah, because I don't have a wrench that's this big. <laughs> that wrench isn't that big. Yet. Yet. It's a grower, not a shower. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Alright, anyway. And the bearing's out. Just as easy as that. Would you take a look at that? Beautiful thing, isn't it? That is so much easier than using the scary press and like putting a ton of tension on a weird surface that's kind of hard to get the press in there. This is just hit it with the impact and off she goes. That thing is really warm. Ah, next up, clean up this surface and get the new bearing in. Our new bearing, we got some grease on it to help it get in there. Have the uh, back plate piece. Now this bearing sits slightly out on this side and doesn't press all the way through our hub. So this will sit on the lip at the back and then we will press the bearing from this side with our same set of tools. Remember to line it up Nicely. before you start tightening anything but just send it sideways. Yeah just send it in there completely sideways. It'll be fine I'm sure. Okay, time to put this one in. Once again, like butter. One in there, no problem. Don't put the hub on yet. You need to put this on first. If you don't put this on first and put the hub on, you're gonna have a bad time. 
All right, we're gonna use the same screw thing, but we got a couple different insert pieces. This one will sit on the outside of the hub. And this one will sit the inside about as centered as we can get it against that race. Um, wanna make sure you keep pressure on that race itself when we press this through. That way you don't push the back bearing out of it. Because if you push, if you don't have support on that back one, when you push that hub through here, it's gonna push that back race basically clear out of this thing. And uh, you don't wanna do that because it kind of ruins the bearing. Once again, slow and steady. Oh, hi, nut. I guess one's good enough, right? Oh no! <laughs> Look, that's all together. Now for something completely different. Today we're using one trick that the tuners hate to add a hundred horsepower to your you car. Set it backwards. Bitch, you're bitch, son of a whore. <laughs> tuners hate this one trick to add a hundred horsepower. That's a hundred horsepower. Oh.
going as planned. Not our perfect bumper. It's totally straight. Got the, uh, the fart can muffler exhaust tub tube. Chineseium. Chineseium is premium. Time to weld that shit together. It's okay, little guy. It's no need to cry. You had a long run. Come with me. Into the scrap pile. We're on our way to Woodward, and the PT's verbal and coolant. Yeah, it's being a bitch this today. But it was leaking at the thermostat housing earlier, so we sealed it. Oh, that's... So we sealed it and put fresh coolant in it, and... And it was fine for, like, a while. Hold on. It might we just be piddling air. Anything, did we? No, that's still clean. Milkshake did not bring the boys to the yard. So now he's gonna crack the bleeder and see if it burbles. Have to. Don't, Don't burn yourself. 